Welcome to the Freedom Club Podcast, where we discover the fight for freedom, fulfillment, passion, and purpose. Your host is Kurt Mercadante, Gallup Certified Strengths Coach, an agency founder who is dedicated to coaching individuals seeking to level up their life and their businesses. The Freedom Club is about unlocking your talents, turning them into strengths, and crushing your objectives. You can learn more at KurtMercadante.com. Welcome to the Freedom Club. And this is the Freedom Club Podcast. I am your host, Kurt Mercadante. And if you are listening to this on Friday, the date at which this podcast is set to be aired, I urge you to make today Freedom Friday. If you are in a job where week after week after week, you just can't wait for Friday to come so you can escape for the weekend. But you wake up Saturday morning and your Monday is already ruining your Saturday morning because you know that... When you wake up Monday, you're gonna feel out of control. You gotta go to that job, that workplace, in a career that makes you feel like you work in more of a prison than a business. Then make today Freedom Friday. Make today the last Friday. You have to put up with those feelings because it's not worth it. Time is not a renewable resource. You will never have today again. And whether you, you've heard me say it before, and I'm gonna keep repeating it, whether you have one more day to live or 20 years left to live. Why would you want to live one millisecond more without a sense of freedom and fulfillment? So stop it right now. And you know, earlier this week on LinkedIn, I shared a quote from Henry David Thoreau. The talks that says, the mass of men lead lives of quiet desperation. And I got a great response to it. And I talked about some people, talked about it with some people this week. And you know, in fact, as I record this, I'm going back and forth with someone who leads a life life of quiet desperation. But because that desperation is quiet, he's not making a change. It's almost like he's hoping for the desperation to become so loud, for that crisis to come his way that he will be forced to make a change. And yes... Some people require that kind of push, the explosion, for their life preserver to be taken away so they're forced to tread water. But why do you want to go through that pain? Why? And you know what Thoreau meant by that quiet desperation is what I have called here on this podcast a comfort zone of misery, a comfort zone of blah. You wake up every morning Outwardly, things may seem fine. Things aren't, quote, that bad. But day after day, you have a sense of the blahs. Day after day, you wish you know you're destined for more. But you fall into that comfort zone because the crisis hasn't yet come your way. And there's nothing I can do, perhaps, to convince you to take action before that quiet Desperation becomes very loud, becomes screaming. And some people do. They hop into my coaching programs. But I want to urge you today, there's no reason for it. Year after year after year, some people live in that desperation hoping that someday they'll roll out of bed into a life of excitement, a life in which they feel they're living up to their potential, a life in which They don't know the difference between Monday and Friday, Wednesday and Tuesday. It all feels the same because every day they wake up excited. They're living a life of freedom. They're living a life of fulfillment. And so they're just waiting for it to come around the corner. It ain't going to happen. I'm sorry. And yes, it took years of anxiety attacks, years of misery, years of me putting up with shit, from clients who didn't respect me before I finally hit that breaking point, before my quiet desperation became so loud I could not ignore it, so loud that I was pushed into the corner, I exploded, I shut down my agency at peak revenue. And yeah, I had to swim or sink. And so I've swum. There's been daily challenges. You know, building up a new coaching company, it's challenging. There's fear. But it's a good fear. You've heard me say it before on this podcast. There's a a fear that drives you into the ground and there's a fear that drives you forward. And now I, I now have a fear that drives me forward when before I had a fear that drove me into the ground. 
So if you're living a life of quiet desperation, there is absolutely no reason for it. And I urge you, I implore you, not to wait for that desperation to become loud. Nip it in the bud now. Help me, let me help you put together a plan, a process to not only define the lifestyle in which you want to live, but to put together a process to get there. Build that landing strip so you don't have to crash land the plane when that desperation becomes loud and screaming at you in your ear, but rather to put together and build that landing strip so you can set your destination, set the date, define it, define that date for which you want to get into your new lifestyle, your new career, your new workplace, whatever it is that is going to give you fulfillment. Set that destination, reverse engineer it to today. Let's work together to get you there. And if you're interested in doing that, I'm having weekly group discovery calls because I hate the term webinar. And if you're interested in doing that, come to my website, kurtmercadante.com. Right on the home page, you can either click on the link to the Freedom Club or click the big blue button on the home page. Sign up for one of the webinars. Learn how we can help you fight for your life of freedom and fulfillment rather than just marinate in your life, your current life of quiet desperation, that comfort zone of misery. So I implore you, make today Freedom Friday. Don't wait another week. Don't wait another day. This has been the Freedom Club Podcast. I am your host, Kurt Mercadante. Have a wonderful weekend.